One of the reasons that I purchased the Surface Pro 2 was to be a highly portable video editing solution for me when I travel because I bring a lot of gear with me to events and all of it adds up to a lot of extra weight that for the most part doesn't really add any value. And one of the key things that I do need though is a computer that's capable of rendering video fairly quickly. And the laptop that I had before had gotten to be, uh, I think it was about two and a half years old. And so it was time to replace it because it needed a memory upgrade and there had been uh, a whole another generation of uh, Intel processors that had come out since then. And so in general, I just wanted something that was a little more robust. And But at the same time, I wanted something that was a really small form factor. And I looked at the uh, MacBook Air as a possible solution. But the thing that I don't like about editing on Macs is that they require an intermediate codec in order to do the editing and rendering. And that adds some time. And I, I prefer to optimize my video editing for time. And so I, I actually like using a Windows computer with uh, Sony Vegas as a great solution for the AVCHD uh, footage that comes off of uh, all the cameras that I use. And so the Surface seemed like it made a lot of sense, the Surface Pro 2, because it had a fourth generation core processor and uh, it's got a fair amount of RAM. And what I found was that by switching to the Surface as my video editing system, I reduced the amount of time to uh, render a video post-edit. The, the editing process took about the same amount of time, but the rendering was fast. And by fast I mean, so if I had a four minute video clip, then the four minute video clip took about uh, five and a half minutes to render. So that's, that's a pretty significant improvement over what on my old system was pretty close to a uh, two minutes for every minute of video. And while I'm sure that a uh, bigger system with more RAM probably could get me a little faster, the form factor plus the processing power of the form factor makes it a pretty ideal solution for me for video editing. So I have to say that while I had only hypothesized that this would be a great solution, I can now say that I am very happy as a portable solution that the Surface Pro 2 works out really, really well.